and Holden's big drive into the Middle East. Australia is about to move up a gear in its bid to become a major car exporter. Holden will be selling a left-hand drive Commodore in the Middle East, a deal that's expected to be worth a billion dollars within the next five years. It's almost three decades since a quarter of Holden's cars were sold overseas. 46 territories outside Australia are buying Holden. Now it's hoping this vehicle will recapture record export sales, a left-hand drive version of the big-selling VT Commodore. Rebadged as a Chevrolet, the Lumina model, similar to a Calais, was designed in Melbourne and built in South Australia. Yes, there are other manufacturers that are currently exporting from here, but none of them had that car actually designed in Australia. Successful tests in the Middle East have prompted an order of three and a half thousand cars. South America will import the same number by the end of the year. It gives certainty for future investment and gives stability with, to the industry, so I congratulate them. It's a $50 million investment which Holden says will reap massive rewards within five years. Holden's hoping its rebadged Commodore will eventually penetrate overseas markets to the extent where one third of production will be for export and account for $1 billion of turnover. It's hoped the Commodore will give the company leverage in other markets so the majority of its flagship Statesman and Caprice models will eventually be built for overseas drivers. Nick Coe for Nightline.